this church is all about mission. How do you create a mindset where people say, you know, I need to give, I want to enable this for other people. I'm not sure how you do that. I know that here it's part of their DNA. They're always thinking, um, what is it that needs to be done? in the community. It's been that way since the early 80s when people said, if we don't want to shut our doors, then we need to open it to our community. Agape Medical Clinic is four and a half days here. It started out one day a week 28 years ago and it is now four and a half days. Our second one is Open Door Preschool, which has been here 40 years. We celebrated 40 years this last fall. And we serve 35 children who speak six different languages. Our goal now, now that we know we're getting a kitchen, is to expand Open Door up to 60 children and, and go from seven in the morning till six at night. And then the legal clinic, which is every other Thursday, whether it's a traffic ticket, an immigration case, or divorce, family matters, abuse, just questions of law. And we have about 10 attorneys that volunteer pro bono, come here, listen to their stories, give them advice. Often they'll make an appointment to come back the next time. So they're here, and they also are in the basement. The fourth uh, mission is Allie's House. That services girls between the age of 13 and 20 who are either pregnant or have a child, and they need to counseling on how do you raise a child, how do you cook for the child, how do you get your GED or graduate, how do you go on to further education, but the big thing at the end is how do you become completely independent? Bonhoeffer House is our fifth mission. It's a group of seminary students, all male, because they're living in the same house. Uh, they're, they're from Perkins, four seminary students. They live in the community. Their door is always open. Everybody in the community knows on Friday nights, you can line up and go over there and eat with them because they're going to be cooking and they're going to be feeding anybody that comes over there. We have 35% of our space, our square footage, dedicated to mission. On top of that, we have 30% of the space shared. Our emphasis is empowering the community. This is the fourth campaign that we need to accomplish all those things that we needed to accomplish. And why now is because we're just putting off helping people that need to be helped. Our first priority with this capital campaign has to be our kitchen. We can do so many things with that. We're going to be able to increase the hours of our open door preschool. It'll be an all day preschool instead of a morning preschool. We're going to uh, be able to teach the girls at Allie's house how to cook nutritious, really nice meals for their family, their children, and to be independent. We're going to be able to have our di diabetes groups that meet here come on into the de demonstration kitchen. It's called Demonstration Kitchen. It's going to be all open and you can see from either way. Demonstrate how you can cook for yourself as a diabetic or your family as a diabetic. And it won't cost you that much money, but you'll already know how to do that. You'll be doing it right there. You can't do that right now. Along with the demonstration kitchen, we need to totally rework the inside of our steeple. The walls have begun to deteriorate. The steps have begun to deteriorate. We need that room for all sorts of community service, for our own services. It's a big draw to the community. We have people that live in this community and just being in the shadow of that steeple when they enter makes them feel very safe. That tall steeple is the light that draws all these different people. They see it and they come. Missional is, first of all, how do you help the community that you're in? You don't ignore it. So how do you help? What's going on? You discover every day that the mission that you're doing goes back to a previous person, someone in the community, uh, a doctor that was a volunteer. When people ask me, uh, well, who started this? Who did this? What's it? It's just that we're all on a mission together. It's a lot of faith and it's a lot of saying, what am I called to do?
My biggest hope for the congregation is that those who are not involved hands-on with any of our missions would become so.